Hi, I'm John with Total Equipment Training and welcome today to our tailgate talk. Today we want to talk a little bit about mobile crane operation and the top six things that occur to cause a mobile crane accident. Uh, number one is should be obvious, but is crane overload and overloading that crane. You need to know the capacity of your crane and the lift that you have to make and the weight that you're going to be lifting. And if you don't know the weight that you're going to be lifting, then don't lift it. It's as simple as that. Because a lot of times you go, oh, it only weighs 10,000 pounds. And next thing you know, it weighs 60,000 pounds. Now you've overloaded that crane and cause an accident. Uh, swinging or suddenly dropping loads is another one. Uh, this is not a ride at the amusement park. You need to make sure that you are operating that nice and slow in a safe manner, following all the signals to make sure that that lift is going to go correctly. Not swinging back and forth, making sure that that wind is not going to catch that load and send it sailing. Um, you also don't want to hoist your loads beyond the crane's capacity. So if you're boomed way out 140 feet, you need to make sure that you do all those calculations to make sure that the load that you're lifting is not going to send that crane turning over, which also is the number one death cause of death for mobile crane operators is turning that crane over. Uh, and using defective components, come on, guys, you inspect your crane. Make sure that everything is working correctly. Make sure that that crane is safe for you to operate. Um, and please don't drag a load. You know, pick it up. A crane is made to pick up a load, not drag it across the ground or drag it across the roof. You need to pick it up. Um, and don't side load the boom. Side loading, the boom is made to take that weight vertically, not horizontally. So don't side load that boom and cause that boom to fail or tip the crane over. So thanks for watching this video today. Check out our website, totalequipmenttraining.com. Be safe and be up to date.